Howdy guys, Jake here with some beautiful East Coast water today. I'm taking my buddy out for his first snorkeling diving experience, and while I'm down here looking for some Queen Kong shells to come bring up and show him, points out this crab I landed on top of. So, already full of life in the first five minutes of the dive, it's a good sign. Coming up next, you have a couple clips of some of the normal sights that are also quite beautiful that you get to see in the ICW side of Florida between the barrier islands and the mainland. Right now we have a stingray just swimming by, minding its own business, but next we got a couple clips of the queen conch and starfish that infest the waterways. So for most of this dive, I'm staying ahead of my friend here, combing through the sand, looking for all the cool things to find. So I, I know what I'm looking for, it's a lot easier for him to miss something than me. And I spotted this flounder just hanging out in the sand over here, I'm violently grunting, snapping at my friend, trying to get him to come over. See this flounder right here at the tip of my pole spear? It's that little off-colored patch of sand. Now I'm diving down to this flounder, go prod at him a bit, get him to look a little more lively. This flounder was definitely eating size, could have shot him, not the biggest fan of flounders, so decided to poke at him a bit, get him to run away. Here we have the first sighting of one of the red cushion sea stars that also are just everywhere over the lagoon. I'm trying to get my friend here to be a little more comfortable diving down to come look at things, he was staying pretty top water. Next we came up on what I know is a lizard fish, feel free to identify it, but start jostling him around, giving a fan out his fins. Honestly, really pretty fish. So we ended up moving over closer to some docks, see uh, what fish like to hide around structure. And guess whoever sat on this dock likes drinking their beers every Friday because it was just littered with cans. Also that little baseball cap there little close-up of an urchin that's still very much alive, usually you just get to see their dead husks. Checking underneath all the docks here, you can see a couple snook hiding back there. Little schoolmaster snapper swam by, and then of course the pretty angel fish. Found another sea urchin here. Beautiful head of coral attached to the bottom of this piling too. Swimming around dock still, found a very undersized mahi-mahi head. And then I'm peeking at some snook and I hear a boat just rev its engine above the water so I instantly go rush check on my friend. And I scrape my leg right past one of the dock pilings and I check on it right now just to make sure I'm not bleeding but about 20 minutes later it was itching furiously with a little cut on it. So I find two lobsters over here and I beckon my friend over and drop the pole spear so I can harass the wildlife two-handed. And I'm trying to coax this little lobster out for my friend to see and he ends up making a dash rate right for him. My friend just goes complete girl mode, just starts flapping his hands, flapping his legs. <laughs> Here I end up spooking some Jack Raval, hiding behind a piling. Pretty good sized ones, they dart off into the distance.
next I find what looks like somebody who just dumped a bucket of shells over the side of the dock. Went ahead, picked up all the pretty ones to go show off, maybe even keep a couple, as they were really intact shells. After showing the shells to my friend, I go to put them in the bag and I lift up the bag. To make that really nice noise. Went ahead and changed spots and the first thing I saw was this little sea slug or whatever invertebrate is just floating through the water. Honestly kind of cute looking. Between the snook, the spade fish, the little bait maharas there, and the angel fish, this place is just teeming with life. Now, it is illegal to spearfish snook, however, it is not illegal to make finger guns at them, so I'm exercising my right to finger guns right here. So this dive was my GoPro's one last hurrah before the battery died and I had to go stuff it in the car to charge. You can see this school of moonfish over here, all the Bermuda chubs, this pretty little Jack Raval that swam in front of me. After charging up in the car, I decided to hit up the beach side as the water was rather clear. We had an east wind so I was expecting some real murky water, but see here it's quite clear. This isn't the first fishing lure I found, but it's probably the most expensive I found today, so I thought I'd show it off. This first dive here, I was trying to show my boy how to let the fish present the shot to you, instead of you chasing after it. I go ahead, grab the rock here to stop the swell raging me around, and take aim, doing a little grunts, trying to get fish over to me. See this pork fish on the left, just being patient. I end up completely missing him, first shot of the day. And even though the GoPro was dead for all the fish I did shoot, I promise I'll, you'll have pictures of what I cooked at the end. Because I'm a menace to wildlife here, I put this jellyfish through an EF4 tornado. So I see a bunch of black margate underneath this ledge here, and off in the distance I spot a good sized mahara. I'm getting bored so I just chase after it for fun and I completely gas myself kicking as hard as I can. Then I see this nice black drum that I completely spook because I come in 30 miles an hour and never saw him again that day. So shortly after the black drum incident, these massive pompano roll through, and I barely got the GoPro on in time to see them on their way out. I breathe up, go down, grab a rock, and just start grunting, stirring up sand, trying to get their attention to come back. Not even religious, but I started praying to God for these guys to come back here. Sadly, they never did. Ended up attracting a bunch of pork fish behind me, but I just kept doing 360s waiting for those pompano. Right here I'm about to investigate what's underneath the ledge and the snook pops out. I go completely ape-brained, lose my focus, and I just start chasing after him for no reason. About halfway through this dive I realize I'm just following a fish for fun, and then kind of let him go free. Okay. 
seeing trash floating around the ocean always makes me a little sad. I try my best to clean it up, but I left my bag in the car as a hole got ripped in the bottom of it. Continue on climbing over rocks. I end up seeing real pretty Margate on the top left over here. So I see this parrotfish who thinks he's clever, rocked up. I dive down to go shoot at this perfectly still fish. Manage to barely clip the top of it. I'm gonna blame the cold water. I was getting quite numb at this point, hard to aim. A lot of people say they don't like parrotfish, but I've heard that about many other fish I've eaten, so i am been trying to catch a nice parrotfish to try. Take a dive underneath this ledge here, snook on the left, little baby nurse shark on the right. Not even two foot long. So right here, again, I was showing my friend how to get the fish to come over to you. I don't take the multiple shots this fish gives me on purpose, as I'm not trying to spook him away. I set the target species at this moment as pork fish, as they're pretty abundant and also pretty stupid. Ended up coming home with a couple of them and I fried him up. GoPro ended up dying right after this dive, but me and my friend caught a couple pork fish, gutted and bled them, took them home, egg batter, flour, breadcrumbs, normal Italian spices, and me and my cat quite enjoyed them, a little bony, but firm white fish.